As the rain it sways in the old monsoon And the pain it brays on an open wound It's cold, it's cold, it's cold Gotta break the stranglehold I have sealed myself, I have dried my tears Now I steal myself to defy my fears Help me strong, be strong, be strong I am right where I have duck bills and rabbits breed with deer to create super murder hoppers where everything is actively trying to kill you the iron wombat does what he can to not fail so hard and he's not doing well strap yourselves in for one wild ride and welcome to iron wombat gaming What is up everyone? Thank you so much for joining me. I'm Iron Wombat and this is Iron Wombat Gaming coming to you from Sydney in Australia. Exciting night plan tonight. Sorry about the music debacle earlier on in the stream if you're coming in the beginning as well too. Something's on my playlist, but that's okay. That's all sorted for now. In any case, I'm going to jump straight into uh, World of Warcraft Classic. So let's get this started. <coughs> Excuse me. Hang on. Waiting for it to... Load better, there we go. Um, and everything is starting to load now. Get my dropped. The trade's coming back up. There we go, that's better. So what are you watching me tonight? Having a good evening wherever you are, cheers. Ooh. 
You know, I had some mail up last time I played. Let's see if anything came back from the auction house with money with me. The bronze bar was successful. That's pretty neat. But I'm not sure what's happening with that axe. Did they end up putting it up on the house? Maybe I did, maybe I didn't. Oh well, if I did or if I didn't, no, that doesn't matter. So, as the name suggests, I need to do Black Fathom Deep's one of my quests, and to get there, I've got to go to Ashenvale. One second, I'm gonna go to. So, without further ado, let's get this started. Okay. So. Much as I'd like to do the other quest, I think maybe now is a good time as any to go. Horrifying journey. There from Darren Mill. Wish me luck. Right, there's a flight master here, so I'll have to fly back to <coughs> um, Undercity. Let's see if I can grab a flight master. Where is the flight master from here? Oh, right here. Forgot that around here. This is the way I go. I'll just grab you. Let me be on the city. Um, you could. I was literally about to fly to on the city. Like the journey there by a blink. Okay. See what they say. What he says. A bit coming here to me might be quicker. See what he says. What he does. Doing that will help as well. <coughs> Caramel. Maybe while I'm waiting for it. Need some. Um, okay. Happy to tank if anyone is down. Level 27 on the warrior. Okay. That's fine. DPS for MT. What was MT again? Ah, oh, well, I think that's right. I remember I'll figure it out when I get to a higher level. Hmm. One of the largest skills in the server. can help. We'll just do that. Oh, Zangamash. Oh, good lord. <laughs> We're in Zangamash. It would be quicker if I went to... I travelled. <laughs> Myself. <laughs> 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 that's, right, that's right. I thought that might be the case. All right, off to Wonder City I go. I'm gonna catch that blimp. That blimp in life. And where we go. Off we fly. How we get there? Well, where we need to be, really. Anyway, where we are, I hope you're having a great time, great evening. Hope this brings back memories for you all as well. 
if you if you're not if you don't have the game on and you want to come back and play it, I hope you do. More people on this the merrier. Okay. The uplands. Dandridge fold. I don't really remember the name of a lot of names of a lot of these places. I don't remember them at all. Okay. Hmm. Invite male Furion, please. Here we do invite male Furion. Actually, that's why I rank in the guild. Um, skills. No, 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 no. Social. Guild. Let's see now. Um. Barons. I probably could find myself, maybe if I click on it. It doesn't bother me, I'm just curious, if anything. Um, um, Alright. Here we go. Frank Wanderer. Dwarf lands, spits blood off. <laughs> no. Oh, that's, that's right, Dissolus. <laughs> How are you going? Okay. There we go. Okay. Um, let's see. I will just put in my whole Twitch handle. Um, I just leave it there. And that's it. Set. And that's my rank, Wanderer. Okay. okay. Now, where was I? What was I going to do? How you going, Dissilus? Okay, um, now that I'm here, gotta go to Orgrima. Tell you what, this running's gonna be a pain. <coughs> Excuse me. Ooh, doing some bot on bot violence and see you here. Oh, really? You got um. Wait, what do you mean? Oh, is it, is, oh that's right, because you're, um,. Do you have a... What character do you have on COH? I don't remember you having a robot character unless you've got a mastermind and you're just sitting there eating a packet of chips while the mastermind is absolutely demolishing because robots are take kicking ass and taking names. No, this is the wrong way. Ah, but this, this is the right way. Oh boy. risks of going there from here but if i see any gold related items or like copper or silver or things like that get them out of the way oh nice <coughs> the robot what was ff again i can't remember what ff was That's a good prospect. Force field. Okay, that's a pretty good combination. I don't really like that. Because then it protects your um your bots while they're absolutely tearing people in half. Whereas the setup that I have um, just electrifies the crap out of them, which makes them stronger for some reason. I think in Wrath of the Lich King a second blimp um, station opens up here, doesn't it? <coughs> okay, there we go. Alright. To Orgrimmar. Uh, Oh, 
There's your Zeppelin now. Just departed from under city. Oh, I just missed the Zeppelin. So we go to the northern area to fight the Lich King. Yeah, that's right. So a secondary um, blimp tower opens up. But that comes up for Borean Tundra, if I remember correctly. Okay, here we go. for anything. I don't know. What opportunity for what? Opportunity that they missed. Should have had a major invasion scene like storming the beaches at Normandy. They did! The whole Wrathgate scene. Where <laughs> it completely backfired. There was even um, days before the launch um, moments. How goes my traveling, cool cat? Let me tell you something. And he just started, and I'm a little horrified, to say the least. Because while it took me min like minutes to get to the blimp, I know that it's going to take me about an hour to run through um, south of Orgrimmar, going into the Barrens, then going north from the Barrens, up to um, Ashen Vale, then picking up little flight paths along the way. Then, um, I have to go all the way up. You're fighting and typing. <laughs> God. Good effort. <laughs> Play to take part in the first landing and smash on dead to set up a base camp. Ah, oh, I like that. But they think they did that with um, uh, Warlords of Draenor. That's what I think what they did when they um, dived in onto that. Cool Cat, what are you doing at the moment? Where are you at? Game-wise. I'm assuming um, you're playing WoW Classic right now. Oh. Gonna stay hydrated, sorry. Did I just see a character whose name was COVID Light? What? And it just yeeted himself off. I don't know if I didn't get a disease, nether storm. Ah dang. Oh boy. <laughs> yeah. Be a bit of um a bit of a fight there. Um, Got something on the Discord. I don't want to change things. Okay. Uh, all right, here we go. Okay. Sorry about this, guys. Just got a ticket. I'm answering. Okay. And there we go, and we're moving across. <sighs> Netherstorm, I don't remember much of Netherstorm. That was in, um... If I remember correctly, it's not a server. It's... Bloody... In Outlands. <coughs> and it was a pain in the ass. I think it made it easier when you got flying, but... Boy, before flying was an absolute nightmare. And I think getting flight is an important part of the story in Outlands. Oh, he's cooking. He's overcooked. Green dog. Oh, car. Okay. I'm like, oh, gosh, I don't know. I think you had to get like a... I don't know. Well, anyway, all I remember was large amounts of profanity leaving my mouth at a young age. Good thing is Druids are flying at 67. Oh, how lovely. Meanwhile, us paladins, although I have no right to complain, we get a free mount at level 30. But we have to deal with getting it at level 70. Why do you guys get it at level 67? That seems a little bit unfair. Why can't everybody else get it at level 67? Oh, let me 
me um, grab you. Flight form, yeah, but do you still have to get flight licenses or, or no? Alright. Journey begins. Uh, so I gotta go south and over there. Oh boy. <laughs> so just just for um, as an FYI, anyone who's watching the stream right now, trying to get to um, Ashenvale so I can get to Black Fathom so I can do the last part of my quest for the Paladin for the Corrupted Corgen. Just special, <laughs> yeah. I guess so. I tried to play a druid, and I can see that there is a market for druids. I dig it. I have a lot of fun, but I feel like that there's a lot I've got to get my head around. Like not a lot. Like once you pick a, if you want to be a healer or a tank, etc., it's fine. But in retail, oh man, doing the desert area and didn't know what I was doing. Ended up in a high level area. Wait, wait what's this for? Is this in, um... Are we talking about the same game now, this? Are we talking about WoW Classic? Way back when. Ah, oh, yeah. Oh, I remember. I was want to have a laugh. My brother, first time playing this game, he had absolutely no idea what he was doing. He was... Well... He... He was leveling up. Um, in an area and I was guarding and I was like just make sure you stay here until you get to level 20 to go to this area etc so we were doing that this was when it was still well classic this is before um, Wrath of the Lich King and the Burning Crusade this is when well was well and vanilla and a bunch of guys rocked up to him um, he was I think he was in the Barrens hang on let me just zoom out and see if I can find the info Stone Talon Mountains, Moldor Berylus, Silithus, Angoric, Janaris, Thousand Needles. Where was he? No, hang on, he was in the Eastern Kingdoms. Trying to find it. I can't find it. From the Hinterland, Tarathi, Loch Modan, Badlands, Burning Steps. He was at Dun Dunmore. Leveling up. We said, how do I get to Ironforge? He gave these noobs directions, set them to the burning steps. Level 10, all dead. They all messaged him back. You son of a B, what do you think you're doing? This was cruel, how dare you? You sent us to our debts. We're so far deep, now we can't get out. We have to corpse jump back. <coughs> And he was like, I don't know, I just thought I was being helpful. I just sent them the wrong way. Can't believe I forgot what it was called. Alright, uh, okay, this is gonna be the way. Ding, 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 ding. I think there's a flight path. Hmm. It's like in the 50s, I think that was the area of the gate to the Outlands. Ah, Badlands! You've accidentally found your way into the Badlands. That's what happened. Mm. Tell me that's water there and I can drive down and then have to dump, 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 jump. Badlands is the area before the, um, before the, the, the gate. I'd have to drop down. I can't do that. Um, so we're gonna go down this way then. Which is handy. Against this Thunder Ridge. So all the Thunder Beasts were down there. Remember when they all got flooded? So I've got to go back so I can type to you guys if I need to type any links or things like that. Web addresses into the chat. Bang. There we go. There's a little puddle here. Ah, another copper vein. Good. I need as much copper as possible. The more copper I find, the, uh, if I get like um, 20 copper and 20 tin, 
Could make a killing of bronze. <coughs> How much copper do I have? Okay, that's fine. Live with that. No, 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 please don't end running. Yeah. <laughs> Far more polite than I would have been. A bit more, more of, 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 please no, 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 no. Hey, perfect kind of music for running through the desert. Are these boards aggressive? No, these are dire multi boards. They're fine. They're harmless. And flood points are someone asking me how the hell I got there. <laughs> what are you doing here? Okay, no, I know I outlevel them, but I don't want to fight them still. There's the path. Hmm. Brent. <laughs> How did you get here? Went for a bit of a stroll, took a bit of a jog, you know? It's a long ass run. <laughs> Can I get that copper vein? You know what? I'm gonna waste these guys. Let's see if they aggro me. If they do, I'll kill them all. Don't mind me. Just stealing your copper. You son of the bee. Thank you. Let's get back into this, shall we? I think I needed to do that. There's a lot of magic for no reason. Hang on. Protection aura. You. Oh boy, there's more. Okay. Another vein. The Hulk can fight me if they want to fight me, they can fight me. But I will demolish them. Um, up here. Where are you? There you are. <laughs> Give me the copper! I just need all the copper, that's all. And then I'll leave you guys in your right way. But if you breathe in my direction, you filthy razor mane. I will end you. Proper ending. Okay. Where was I? Ah, oh, this way. Here we go. Okay, so looks like I'm going to be doing well for copper on the way up. <laughs> Very well for copper. Over here, copper! Okay, here. Am I going to get it? Am I going to get it this way? No. That'd be really shitty if it spawned up there and I couldn't get it. Oh, hang on. Oh, there we go. Come on. Give me all your copper. Give me all your copper. How much gold do I have? Oh, you're very nice. Oh, this is a particularly rich vein, too. Okay. More DPS, shnk, GTG. SHH. SHH. Ooh. Okay, I think there's a flight master here. I want to make sure that the flight paths connect. If they don't, then I've missed the flight path. And I've only got myself to blame. But ha ha. Fools. I am Karma Killer. These, these jams. Groovy. Pushing <laughs> bells up that way. Okay. Flight Master, I need one that's here. 
Is there a flight master here? Yeah, he used to. Isn't, isn't there a flight master here? Maybe we just gotta get into the Barrens first. Pick up that flight path and go up. I think that's what I gotta do. I go to. Yeah. Go to there. Mm -hmm. I think down here. Is, hang on, that's quite a bell. Quite a bell. That means that there's an outpost there. I can't remember the name of the outpost. Wrong. If I don't get that flight path, I've wasted my time as well, too. Okay. And one more for Wailing Caverns. I mean, BFD. I think Wailing Caverns might be a, a like level 70 dungeon, if I remember correctly. Alright. This is a long run. Oh boy. The beauty of this journey. I remember when I first played this game, it really, um, yeah, one of the cabins is a low B1. You're right. Yeah. Oh, I remember Wailing Caverns. Freaking hate it. It does. It's a green um, shield, like multi-layered or something along those lines. But my just going to pass you, you sleep. Uh, um, okay, here, this is the way. Everybody's going. How's everybody this evening? Wonderful. I'm having a wonderful time. Okay, so this must be the way. Here we go. Down this way. <clears throat> Excuse me. Get this white path first. Let's see if it connects with um, Durita. <coughs> Things a bit off the playlist tonight. There's two tracks in a row by Miracle of Sound. Let's see if something else comes up. Okay, no, nah, that's fine. All right, that's good. I do like this track though. Oh, yeah, via a brilliant band available through pretzel rocks by the way guys if you don't have that uh, streaming service get your hands on it it's really good link is in my about me section on the stream there's a flight master okay please tell me it's connected flight path right don't know any flight locations that coincide with this but i have the flight path to i didn't pick up the flight path to orgrima Mm, that makes me so mad. I'm not going back. I'm gonna go to Adrian Rubber and fly past from there. Mm. Yeah, this is the way. Oh, that's annoying. Oh, I thought I picked it up, but I didn't. <laughs> oh, I should have done that while I was there. <coughs> I'm gonna have to get a mage to help me with that <laughs> if I can. Okay, I'm going to hydrate and popping a little bit. Mm. 
Next step. I think everybody wants the main appellate for Rapid the Lich King. Alright, up this way. Good. <clears throat> up this way. Follow it straight up. Take a look at the scenery while we're running around. Oh, whoops. There's an infamous raptor. I bet if you kill it, it won't have a head. <coughs> There'll be a flood part somewhere soon. Up this way, Ashen Vale. Okay. From the desert to the forest. Come along with me to a place under a tree. We can wander through the. Man, that road looked old. The beard on that. Beautiful. What was Winterfall again? Why does that sound familiar? Well, I don't know. Yep, here we go. Alright, this is the spot. Okay, is there a flight master here? <coughs> I think there is. So you just have to run past. Because Warsong Gulch is up this way. Like actual Warsong Gulch. PvP Fender Ford is up that way. Okay. Up the path here. Okay. No, nothing nothing here. There's a fellow over here with an Amani war bear. Is that a warlock? Why does that armor set look familiar? Hang on, that is a warlock. What's he got on the shoulder pads? There's no transmogrification. Mantle of the Corruptor. Oh, oh it's gone. That's okay. Ah, that's why he's part of the armor set. I remember. Okay. Up and around this way. Alright, I'm in Ashen Vale now. Night's on woods. Fly path up here. Hopefully, it'll be worth my energy. If I can grab it and convince someone to come and do. Um, Black Fathom. 
then I can um, go back to what's it called again? Silver Moon. And I'll be fine. Ashen Bell's got a bit of a trek to it. Oh, level 20 beast is fine, I can live with that. If it jumps me, I can destroy it. It's not the same problems I've been having in Taran Mill. Taran Mill has been a nightmare. But I'm still in a PvP area now. So anything can happen. All it's gonna take is one rogue to just shit on my day. Then I'm just gonna be sitting there eating shit, I guess. No other way to word it. Nothing polite about it, really. Just pop that mate and that's the end of it. Oops, and right. That is Shara. That's Felwood. Astrona. Okay. Black Fathom Deeps is up here. Or Depths. No, Deeps. And... That would be a depth. Okay. <laughs> Anyone for Sunken Temple? Mm, no. That's a level 71. I know that much. I think that's where um, one of the Naga is a boss there. It's not Queen Ashara, it's a different Naga. Did the tree post? <coughs> Alright, Cap. Captain Maker. It's also a Paladin, but Retribution Spec. Little Paladin. Jeez, it already is a Blood Elf Paladin. Alright, so the fly path to skip the tree is up that way. Let me see what quests these guys have, if they're even worth doing. So, so. Actually. No. Should I stay here? I don't think so. I've got, I'm gonna stick to Taran Mill. Those gloves look pretty good. Hang on. Okay. <coughs> Where are these supplies? Let's have a look. Go up here and collect everything and fly back. Hey! I'm Will Orth, how are you going? I hope you're doing well. I'm trying to figure out if it's worth doing these quests or not. Because I'm, all I'm doing, you know what, I don't know man. I've got a whole bunch in town and hills bad foothills. Let me level better. I'm stuck. But those gloves look nice. You know what, hang on. I'll grab the fly path, then I'll go back up to Black Fathom Depths. The grind is painful, it really is, but it'll end up being worth it. I, I've been saying this all the time. While retail is fun, you get a quick uh, wham-bam kind of deal, you don't get the same feeling of reward. Whereas when you're playing classic, <coughs> excuse me, whether it's Burning Crusade, Wrath of the Lich King, or um, classic classic, it actually feels like a reward when you do something in the game long enough. By the way, you want to laugh? I was in Orgrimmar, didn't pick up the flight path. Now I'm missing a flight path. Which means, well, now that I'm in the east, uh, this is the only places I can fly are between the Barrens and Splinter Tree Post now, where I'm in Kalimdor. Wonderful. <laughs> I can't believe that. Okay, that's not gonna work. Um, here's what I'll do. I'll go up, I'll follow the path, and if I happen to find the supplies that I need, Probably lead to me having to kill people. Wait, do I have to kill people for these supplies? The rope will be uh, more difficult. The rope was pilfered by the super and furbolg furbolgs, and the satyrs are considered to be the oil. So if I have to kill something along the way, I pick it up, that's good. If not, that's bad. Classic reads retail in all aspects. But yeah, that's right. That's where the fun is. Don't get me wrong, I'm still playing retail, but I'm. Raid Finder has made me, put me in a position where I, could, I shouldn't be playing it for the story. Which, I must admit, the story is quite compelling. 
but the gameplay, I can't stay too long on it um, for reward or for the gameplay. Do you get what I mean? That's that's what I feel. Not to bash uh, retail though, it's actually pretty fun to play sometimes. I do, I am excited though for um, Dragonflight. I just, just want to see if they, what they change in it and if it's positive. It looks like they're reintroducing the talent tree system, but I think it's going to be two trees instead of three by the look of things. In any case, I put my hand up for the beta to see if it'll be worth it or not. But I have to know if I'm allowed to stream it or not. Because if I'm not allowed to stream it, then we've got a problem. <laughs> okay, I might have to have an exclusive contract for that if I do. But that's okay. Okay, so what I'm going to do, like I said guys, once I get up there, I'm going to see, actually I might just start now, see if anyone want to give me a hand with my pally quest. Um, I just have to finish off EFD for now, then we're good to go, then I'm, then I'm good. There we are. Let's see if anybody will give me a hand. The one thing. Oh, okay, awesome. <laughs> <He's watching. laughs> <laughs> there you go. <laughs> now you look like an asshole on live stream. <laughs> uh, legend. Here we go. The mob is outside the instance. <laughs> okay. Hang on. Okay. That is. <laughs> Oh, you guys. <laughs> oh crap, what level is he? 24, is he gonna fight me? Nope, ran straight past. Is he coming back? No, probably knows better than to fight a paladin. He said arrogantly. I don't know if I would have stood, uh, stood a chance in that fight. Okay, um, I have, hang on. Oh, what level are you? Level 35. Do you need to do it all? Because I've got, um... Where are we? There we go. Actually, you know what? I could probably use you too. Um... Hang on. Do this. It's this one. If you can see it. There we go. I'll invite you to it. All right. Also, welcome everybody. Welcome everybody. Oh, Zenkai is coming. Dang. I'm ready now. <laughs> Alright, there we go, Zenkai. Do we want? Okay, that's fine. There we go. Alright. And let's do this. I just gotta walk up to BFD and wait the summoning stone for at least one of you guys. Uh, I think that's probably gonna be a good idea. <laughs> Bob's not. <laughs> up to you. If you want the uh, EXP. <laughs> oh dear. 
It's gonna be quick. <laughs> Not really EXP for us anymore. <laughs> All good, happy to help out with other stuff um, later. One just hung this thing out. All good. Um, this is then will be helping. If you guys have other things, um, you don't have to um, give me a hand. There we go. Ready for that Zenkai boost. God, I'm so happy this ability's really helpful. I'm gonna seriously return the favor when I hit that magic level 70. All right, um, good thing then. Oh, yeah, all good, all happy for that, mate. Peace. <coughs> all right, let's go up this way. If you need anything, just holler. Will do. All right. I oh, got Zen helping. So good. Everyone's so helpful today. <laughs> oh dear. Just gonna take another sip. Oh. Okay. So let me tell you something about having a um, really powerful gaming PC in a small room. It gets hot. <laughs> like, really hot. It starts to cook. Oh, hang on, need a vein. I just made it sound like I have an addiction. I need a vein. There we are. What the? Where is it? What? I'm right on it. In it? Is it under here? What is going on? Oh, there it is. Got to match the copper to match the silver. <coughs> Sorry, to match the tin. Badges, yeah, fair. Moan. Alright. Back up to where I need to go. Go ahead there now. Cheers. I'm still. <laughs> I don't know why I laughed. <laughs> Maybe just wanted to see how authentic I am. <laughs> I don't know. Okay. Hmm. Camera looks a bit backwards. <coughs> Give me a sec. I want to fix something on my um, camera. I'll be right back. It's looking wrong. It's very weird. Okay, that's better. Now everything looks a bit normal. Everything is the right way around. Summon that SH boss. Find something up there. I'm gonna be able to reach it. I don't know. Okay. Oh. Okay, hopefully, let's not get jumped. Oh, GPS. As fast as humanly possible. I'm considering, um, I'm considering just, um, not playing retail for a while on the weekends and just 
adding an extra um, session to level here and there there as well because what and my because I'll oh you sugar nope oh damn oh damn what am I doing where am I going why am I here no 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 I need to run around why this is why you pay attention what oh boy oh boy no 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 you leave me alone don't kill me don't kill me but, wow you guys are really doing really bad at hurting me what is going on could I have taken them probably not okay that was that was dumb um oh because i've gone through astronaut idiot um hmm. <laughs> yeah. is that a crusader sword on me no um i think that's just a well-crafted sword but um zenkai enchanted it for me when he helped me with the run alarm on monday oh gosh but it looks neat with the enchant, doesn't it? <laughs> I think it's good. I forgot how much better it feels to have an enchant on your weapon and have it glow and make it a little bit more personalized. Can't believe I almost absolutely thumped myself by just running through Astronaut like it was normal. God, <laughs> you guys probably couldn't see it in my face, but there was real panic there. It was very real panic. Okay. You know what? I should probably change it to free for all. Mm. Okay, I'll do it for free for all for now. So it's just me and Zen. That spider just. Okay, you know what? This is what I want, damn it. Forgot about that. Alright, go on. Hurt me. Do you really want to hurt me? Oh man. As soon as possible, Talon. You know what? Yeah, I think that's what I might do. On the weekends, if I can squeeze in a, a gameplay, I might just uh, try and level in between. Not sure if I'll be streaming in at the same time though, because I think stream times is so when I'm when I'm on the weekends it's for family, so I shouldn't be doing a stream at the same time. We'll see how we go. Well, I gotta move as quickly as possible. Oh, there's a flight path up there too. I need to grab. I forget the and there it is, Enkai. <laughs> I can see him. He's over here! He's gonna get there before me and he was across the other side of the bloody... He was in the bloody, um, Outlands. Oh my gosh. Maestro's Post. Ooh. Yeah, I gotta turn left up there somewhere. But it was interesting, like, how, like, those level 60s or 70s were hammering me, or whatever level they were. And my health wasn't dropping as fast as I thought it was going to drop. Could it be that I have, uh, the armor that I've got now? Actually, hang on, what have I done with my talents? I'm going to do that. Is anything just writing? <coughs> He's nice, fine. I mean, Astronaut is a big place. Not Astronaut, sorry, um, Ashenvale. I'll grab the white path and I'll go to BFD. Ooh, this track is nice. Okay. Ah, oh, there he is. That's where he's flying to. I am going to be a little bit upset if I find it. it's only a ret weapon, you don't get a choice. But even then, it's a weapon that I could possibly sell for gold. I love heavy metal. Um, at the moment, one of my other playlists, so what I like to do in my streams is cater to a bunch of people. I'll have a, a playlist that'll have, um, yeah, it's a second to end by arms. Yeah, I thought that would be the case, but i got to do the quest or I'm going to feel like I haven't completed everything Paladin-wise. Um, I normally have a playlist in the background that plays everything, but that playlist is something wrong with it at the moment. Like, all styles of music are catered to everybody. But, um, 
At the moment, that playlist is down, so I've got it set to the last playlist uh, one of my users has selected on their, or users, my followers. They've selected on their channel points, and that allowed them to pick heavy metal, so I kept it on that one as the last one. Blood Tempered Ransor. Which honestly looks awesome, Orth, but I've got no use for it. <laughs> I really would have loved that. Oh dear. Hey Zenkai, let me just get this flight path. Hang on. Where's the flight path? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, Chibi on, yeah. <laughs> okay. Then I gotta go to BFD. You can always um, use it to quest with switch sword and ward tanking. Good. Other quests are there too. Oh, um, for BFD. Nice. Okay. Always use it to quest to switch sword and board. Probably. I mean, there's nothing stopping me from doing that. You can hit like a truck. Some of the egotistical jokes that Blood Elves are known for. Oh, hang on. There we go. This is what you were after? This? This is it, wasn't it? So I was in line at the bat handler yesterday with some undead guy in front of me, and all of a sudden he just lets one go. Didn't even try to disguise it. I don't know what he <laughs> ate, but it did not agree with him. I thought, what crawled up you would have died. <laughs> the female ones can be a bit. Hang on, let me just collect all of them, and I'll keep the ones for BFD. I think it's probably going to be the best um, way to do it. Speak, friend. Rock and pistol fur. We'll see. Oh yeah. Nope. Um. All right. Uh, another one. But I. Uh, hang on. Was there anyone for BFD? Ooh, level forty. Oh my god. All right. That's fine. Oh wait. There's one more quest here. There. Hello, Mar. Akumai. Ah, these are it. See you later. These have to be it. Relax. Amongst the room. Oh, he yeah, the era of uh, the essence of Akumai and amongst the ruins. Got him. There's only two for there. There we go. Let's move. Let's rock and all roll. Alright, I'm just gonna grab that while I'm here. If I come back and I want to do it, I will. If not, I'll get back to Taran Mill because I've got a lot to do there. Probably feel more comfortable in Taran Mill because I know there's more Horde than Alliance there. Hang on, let me hit this. I only have little legs. <laughs> the lash have failed. Okay, that's all right. What about that quest? <laughs> oh, what a day. BFD boost. Oh yeah, that's a good point. Good point, good point. <laughs> Love the whole Zen Club boost thing. <laughs> what <did> you leave Oh my god! <laughs> uh, 
<laughs> oh, 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 He's hiding. Oh, there's another quest up here too for BFD. That's good. That's gonna help. Yeah, that gnome hunting was the best. We, um. <coughs> I don't tell you about my old guild. <laughs> Called the gnome fondlers and how we just used to relentlessly harass gnomes in Rock of the Lich King. Until the guild name got, um, yeeted. Oh, I need this. Grab his head. Remember, just in case. You never know. Even if there was a group of, like, a bunch of ver various people. Oh, hang on. Is there a quest up around this way? No, I've got to go this way then. Like, there was a group of, like, um, alliance and, like, of, like, you know, humans and dwarves and night elves. We still only target the gnome and then run away and everybody else alone. We just really hated gnomes. Um, hang on, is there somebody down this way? Oh, I must be further down. Alright, um. Hmm. Weird. Alright, no, you know what? There's mines here. That's good. Wait. Where's the mine? Is this it? We need to pick these things up. Oh, right. Okay, good. That helps. These aren't really mine mines, they're just part of the quest. Okay, this is good. They do have killer mustaches. These are mustaches you can't go wrong with. Six there. Whoop. There's a lot going on here. The essence of Akumai. A dagger. Oh. Picked up the damp note. Alright, I'm gonna see what happens to my quest when I get out of here. Then you have to upgrade my quest before going in, and you got another quest for the dungeon. Ah, oh, damn it. <laughs> You're kidding. Oh, I'll have to do it later then, because I really want to get this this done. I can't carry any more of them. Oh! Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa! Oh, I. I got it. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> what the hell? I got the gem. Are you kidding me? <laughs> oh, you were wrong. Okay. You want? Ah, uh, yeah. Why not? Well, well, we're here. Well, we're here. <laughs> Let's do it. Just uh nice of the rain. May as well do it. Can't believe I got it. And now that quest is complete, I can hand that brick in. Oh dear. Ow, what was that? Oi! Alright, let's throw down then. Come on, Queen of the Dead. Drum and bass. You got it. There we are. Something a little different. Here we go. He's telling me that's everything for the essence of Akumai. 
Got him. Okay, that's done. Now we can uh, move on. Did I just pop off lay on hands? I just popped off lay on hands. How's that sounding this? Nice change of pace. Oh, yeah, actually, it's very fat. I'm digging it. Good, 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 good. Look at that ring that I'm not going to use. Where's the dungeon entrance? Is it this way here? Can't remember. You know what I need to do though? Uh, you need a mana. There you go. Alright, let's begin this Zenkai boost. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna need to... I don't have any room for anything else. Hang on, you know what? These damn clams. Clam meat out. Clam meat. More room. Oh, a small coil. Um, anything else that I need or I don't need? Hmm, definitely don't need that. Let's get rid of that. Capitating Sword of the Tiger. Nah, I'll leave it. Hmm. Okay, here we go. Oh, time to just take a sip. I don't remember coming to this part so early. Hmm. Okay. <laughs> Attempt to run away. gonna avoid the trash items. I'm just gonna like, only pick up weapons and things that I might need. Um, anything that I don't need is yours. It's yours for this enchanting. <coughs> no, didn't need that. <laughs> what might have been for a quest, but I was wrong. Ugh, hopping. Ugh. That was really wrecking me. Why am I coughing? That's right. Post Corona. Oh, no, come on. This is the way. Bring your ass around here. Come on. Let's fight. Oh boy. I actually do need him to help me. Um. Little help. <laughs> There we go. Hey, what? I'm just gonna bring him around. Uh, this is a closer jump. Come on. This is the way. Waiting for that Merlock to come back and hit me. Is he gonna just jump in the water or what? Oh, there he is. I need seaweed. I need the silver. I need that silver too. I need that, and I'll just heal myself. Do they have frost resistance or something. What's this? What's the Tory roads? What they get? What's going on? Good rivalries are good. So mad. Who's mad? What's happening? <coughs> I'm gonna guild rep because of me. 
Oh, okay, I got it because they're, they're ganking everybody. We're gonna organize some PvP events once we hit 70. I would love that. Definitely would. It would be super fun. Okay. I just love how the Murlocs sound when they get when they get pissed off. So we'll do. Okay. I think we got a Gamora. Okay. Gamora. What I have ordered. Uh, that that crab is doing nothing. You're cooked. Nothing there. Okay, here we go. I think. Oh yeah, it's. A, I mean, you got to get rid of the turtles first. Because if you don't, you're going to be dealing with um. Turtle. Oh no, never mind. Bring them all together. Come on, Satori. Come on, Zenkai. For the good of Satori. Oh, down they go. I'm helping. <laughs> Them's all dead. Oh well. Don't use either of those. Okay. Oh, one more. Uh, loot is yours for disenchanting. Can't use any of it. <laughs> Where's he gone? Whoop. No, you don't. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> These damn naga. Oh, there's a quest up here. Who this? Argent Guard. Seven day old god. Bring the head of Twilight Lord Keldris to bench. Oh gosh, you gotta go to Thunder Bluff for a better shield. Yeah, you know what? I don't mind. Okay. Wonder how many quests completed I can get. Then I've got to follow a path to hand them all in to level up a bit more, too. But I think I've got to catch the blimp to Thunder Bluff from Orgrimmar anyway. So time will be saved that way, then I can get a flight path from there too, connecting Thunder Bluff and Orgrimmar. Thunder Bluff is such a gorgeous, underrated place. I have a special place in my heart for Thunder Bluff. <coughs> First ever character I created was a Tauren. Um, I didn't commit to it. But it was the first one I ever created. It was a Tauren warrior. Run around while tired or drunk. It, yeah, it's definitely a long way down. Oh, where's he going? It's up this way. I think I was level 63. Nice. Okay. What are we doing? Where will we go? Did you forget where to go? Did you forget the way? <laughs> because I did too. Here we 
<laughs> so don't run around while tired or drunk. Yep, definitely. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Nope, stop it. You've been very naughty. Um, just a little trapped. Oh, that I know. I'm frozen. Frozen. I don't need that. Give me the money. Is there anything? Have you got a purple item? No. The boss is this way, actually. I forget how big Black Fathom is. Picture a bunch of red head nose running around Storm and asking all the female characters if they had the queen. Oh god. <laughs> oh gosh. Then Anixia manifests. <laughs> then we have to deal with that bullcrap. <laughs> okay. No! Don't hit me. Yeah, this is the way, I guess. Ah, I see, quality of life improvement, having a map for each dungeon was really nice. My goodness. I'm really gonna hammer the EXP with this shot. Pulls the entire dungeon. In the interest of time, I think we're gonna just drop. Yeah, I would. Oh! 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 Now, you know what? I'm gonna heal you. There you go, you get those heels. <clears throat> <laughs> Alright, um... Well, that was... decent. That really... Oh boy. Everybody here. Is getting. What was that? Oh, that was the um, the mage doing what mage do. Oh boy. Oi. Ass hat. I should have been looking up. Okay, let's keep moving. Oh, you're you're healing. Yeah, you're. That's fair. Eat up. You need the food. You know what you need? Have another one of these. Let's get a bit of a refresh there happening for you. Even though you probably don't need it. Oh, here we go. Hmm. Send chance of ignoring spell interruption when damaged to all party members in 30 yards. Place when it's only one or on one Okay. <coughs> okay. Yeah, this is another one of the bosses this way. Just gonna hang back here. Probably more efficient to do it this way if I look at things. Yep, got them all. A nice big old pile of Naga and Sata. Whoop! Come on then, hit me. Alright, here's the part that I was thinking of. Whoa. The Fathom Claw, who will get that off of? Head of Pilgrims. Some of us in the water, it's a felon pool. Okay. Don't know where that is. Probably gonna miss it, knowing who I am. Whoop. 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 Oh.
Zenkai. There you go. Keep this enchanted if you want. Thinking. Sound plan. <laughs> um. Hang on. I don't need that. Now I've got to sell some things. But I'm going to sell things that actually give me a bit more of what I need. Oh, here we go. Hey, is that what I think it is? Is that... Crap, crap, crap. Damn it, I fell in the water this way. I've got to go up this way now. Zula had the whack. Okay. Okay, well, that's a problem. I'm coming. Oh, that's a- oh, okay. Oh, I see what he's done. There we are. Ooh, an experience! My god! Um... Put that on. Got more armor. These tunes tonight. A fine choice. Good work, Dis. Oh, no, he went that way. There's a boss up here. Okay, it's exactly up here. Oh, there used to be. Unless that's him. Where he comes around. Will not allow you to interfere. Ah, yeah, that's right. I remember their old god worshippers. Try them cool as advice to totally read it in the history of the elements. I did it if you have anything in the Okay. So find it good. If I don't find it, that's okay. I've got a bunch of other quests I can hand in. What's he doing? Oh my god. <coughs> He's getting everybody involved. <coughs> ah. So I'm gonna get ahead. But he's not gonna get ahead. I'm gonna, he's gonna lose his head. Okay. Oh boy. Alright. I hope he leaves him there so I can get around to the room that I just looted. Oh, 
Oh, what was that? Okay. There we go. Cloth pants, the head of. Don't need those pants. I'm not gonna sell them or anything. Turtle me, turtle me. Oh, here we go. There and there. Melon juice and there. Okay. Something should be like a jewel near the water or something. There we go here. Akumai's lair. No, Cold Moon, I can't do that in this one. It's... Pick a different action. I can't actually bounce, not stop this one here. I need to be near <laughs> as, as at all times. Cold Moon, I'm so sorry. Normally I would stop it, but I can't. This is the worst thing you could do right now. And I need to be near, otherwise I'm... <laughs> Any other action? Like healing, for example, <laughs> or, or or doing any, I don't know, man. I can't. <laughs> oh, man. oh dear. Wait, is this Akumai? What? Oh. Okay. Damn it. Okay. Ah, oh, damn. That'll do. Requires level 24 and it's two handed. I'll grab it. But I'm not gonna like it. And there's that pearl. I'm doing well, Cold Moon. How are you doing, you cheeky devil? <laughs> You're being say no seal of wisdom. Oh, then I have to buy heaps of water. Um, actually, um, uh, to Borg. I can fly everywhere I need to from there. Is that the Fathom Core? Hang on. Come on, pick it up, pick it up. Alright, you know what? Instead of banning walking, um, in this one, I'm going to swap it out for no seal of wisdom for, for, for five minutes. Okay. Did I get... Is this the Fathom Core? Um... I don't have it. Oh well. That'll have to do. Am I pantsless? Why am I not wearing any pants? What? Are you guys seeing this? All good. Peace. Let me get the flight path from here. I did, but... For some reason, all my pants are looking off. I guess I'm pantsless. One Pi Master Balance category on Twitch. Tension because ever since BR released, everybody is freaking the wrong category. Oh no! The scales, they need to do the scales. Okay. Oh. Yeah, Bubbling category is it? It was just a VR game release, everybody is screaming in the market. That's so weird. And so annoying. Okay. I need to get the flight path. Then I'm going to... Damn. Can't even use this sword. I'm going to be level 24 soon, but... It's just normal armor for females in games. Yeah, which is... I don't know how I feel about that.
Like, I really don't. I missed that quest. I might keep it in case I come back to it later. Just gotta hand in everything. There's the Flight Master here. Blood and thunder. Need a ride. Thank goodness. Wait. Ashen Vale, Splinter Tree. The Barons. For the Horde. Is there a Zeppelin up here? There isn't. Okay. I need to go to... Um... Foreign lands first, so I'm gonna catch the Zeppelin there. Need to do what to... Yeah, exactly. Out the front. Cheers, Orth. I missed one of the dungeons. I missed one of the dungeons. You mean there isn't a Zeppelin to Thunderbluff? There has to be a Zeppelin to Thunderbluff, surely. Wait. There was one in Classic. Did they remove it? You sure? Unless it was really... No... Let me do storytelling via... Fan race, nobody counts it as... Ah, oh, it came out in Cataclysm! Please, I hope not! Bush is the fundamental. And Cold Moon, that sounds like a pain in the ass! <coughs> Get a port from a mage? I should have got that port from Zenkai. What am I doing? <laughs> oh my god. Let me double check first. I need to double check. Because I do remember in WoW Classic I was on a Zeppelin for hours. Just to get to Org. Please tell me that... Okay. Or I'm betting you wrong. <laughs> Um, and if you are, then I get bragging rights. <laughs> 100 gold! That's my whole stash! Look! <laughs> you can't, no, I'm not gonna give you 100 gold, you barbarian! What is this, bush week? <laughs> I'm not playing that game! <laughs> oh. Mm. Give me that, um, and I'll let you off the last six gold. No, <laughs> it's mine. I worked hard for this gold. Okay, you. Welcome, friend. That's a Stranglethorn Veil. A Grom Goal. Come on. There used to be. Oh my God. Both when you're right, you're right. There was ever an unwanted child that you didn't want. It's that damn BR game. Oh man! <coughs> I'm sorry to hear. Fancy that! Listen, okay? <laughs> it's not just you all. <laughs> I don't believe a lot of people sometimes. I've been burnt before, and I have to see it for myself and make an ass of myself on stream. <laughs> okay. I can't but yeah, um, by the way, oh, what? Alright, um, you two can piss off. I, I need copper more than I need you. Oh, straight to hell with you. Okay. There we go. Oh, away with ye. I think I might just, um,. You can teleport to Thunderbolt by pressing Alt F4. Oh yeah! Close the screen. You'll see it live on stream! <laughs> Looking for one more normal slave pens. Okay. Shouldn't have seen actual fans' reactions for... The announcement of VTM BR being developed. I feel like... Uh, I don't know. I feel like that it was... Um, so it felt like a slap in the face. I'm not putting on Blessing of Wisdom, just putting on Seal of Protection. I don't know why I'm pantsless. Bruh. No. Whoa. Whenever you look down at Chuck and you see things like that, makes you wonder. Okay. Okay. So 
around 60 plus dungeons. Okay. I need to... Why the Thunder Bluff? Because it's just bloody quicker that way. No, and you see enemies by blinding them with your pasty white legs. Exactly! It's <laughs> just, just to... Like, as soon as I do this... Ah, oh, my eyes! And <laughs> then... That ends. I don't understand why he's pantsless. Silves in the face of Jigga's actually real as some cringy nightmare. It was probably... Well, I think we all know what happened there. Cringy nightmare. Okay, I'm not gonna half back until I deal with this mess. So, first to the Barons. Hang on. Quickest way to Thunder... Where's Thunder Bluff? Where's the Mulgore? So, I've gotta go to the Barons. Then east of the Mulgore. Okay. That's it. Off to the crossroads. To continue my long walking journey. To hand in a quest. To gain a level. Then to be told at Thunder Bluff that my Paladin Trainer is back at Undercity. So, <laughs> that's gonna be great. <laughs> oh dear, oh dear. Sorry, it's just really nice. Yeah, every cast is best made of you. Okay. This. Shadow Priest instead of Frock Pally. Yeah, that's true. I think we have heaps of Pallies in this guild. <laughs> Well, to do world PvP because I'm not tank is effing great. That is pretty true. Or at least blood elves. Now, every third person is rolling a pally. <laughs> Then we get um Oren Pallies in Wrath of the Lich King. Uh, dang whoop. And oh good. I was not gonna be happy <laughs> if I could have been. Uh, oh sorry honey, yep. 1 to 80 is a holy disc priest. Nice. Cheers! Ooh. That was spicy. Um. Hang on. The Moldor is that way. The best way is a flight path there. So I'll just go down to the Southern Barrens, pick up that flight path, then to the Mulgore. Okay, okay. Let's do this. Although now that I've got no pants, probably appropriate considering I'm in the Barrens. A hot, disgusting desert. Twist intellect and spirit and frost damage. Okay, so for the rest of the night, I'm not going to be using Blessing of Wisdom because of that ban that, um... <coughs> Cold Moon had added. <clears throat> Which tells me... Uh, yeah. Walking I can't ban in this game. It's a fundamental element. If I was playing a different game, like a first-person shooter... Actually, I should adjust it. It's got to be a reasonable ban when I put it through. Um, I'll adjust it after stream, or maybe tomorrow, or on the weekend or something. Let's see how we go. Okay. There's some more healers to be honest. 
That's Kelly though, because DPS tank and heal all good. Mm. Yeah, that's true. There's options. But I'm happy to tank. I really am. <clears throat> okay. I'll just follow it down and follow the science. I need to keep pressing the map button. Do not always press the map. Wombat, leave it alone. So the BR game is fairly straightforward. It's not really a um a game worthy of the law. Ah. Uh, don't think I've left forgotten about you, Copper. Let's see if I can grab it up this way. Oh, oh my stars. I think this is Warrior. Warriors come for their um weapon quest. Like a big epic journey up a mountain. Over the fields, over the hills, and far away. You'll find a weapon smith who'll make you a weapon. But he'll tell you to piss off somewhere really far. Then you'd have to build it and come back and just hope that you have enough time in your gaming session. Ooh, there's actually a park. Sets it up. Okay, well, I've got to run down. <coughs> Is that actually the most appropriate path for each quest? Like, um, quest help used to do that. Alright. Hello, goodbye, Plane Strider. Goodbye, piece of mountain. We have a lot of room. Better do some selling and questing handing. Damn, that's really annoying. This is a cool looking sword. If I really want to do that whole Sephiroth look, I'm almost there. When you think about it with that sword. But I'm not that kind of guy. Dun, 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 dun. So there should be shirtless with Sephiroth. What a boy. Honestly, makes no sense why he's without pants. Someone who's not a sir, start a paragraph. What a sir? Or a sire. Okay. Put the copper there. Need to find a bunch of tin veins. I'm gonna hold on to the copper till I find some more tin when I get back to. Karen Mill. But the travelling has been proven quite laborious. <laughs> Dominant Bass just has this vibe to it, you know? It just hits you in the home. Sometimes. Like, metal really sucks me up. Drum and bass is the same thing in, in the um, electronic genre as well too. But there's a groove that is hard to emulate in other styles. Yeah, this is classic Pro Eves. It's been a while, champion. How have you been? Hope you're doing well, my guy. Oh, really? Wow Classic or Wow Retail? Aha. Uh -huh. There's another... Another vein up here. Retail. I've been doing it from time to time as well, too, because I want to finish the story before, um... How come I have no mount? Well, it's funny you should ask. In, um, Classic... You don't get your first mount until you're level 30 in Classic Wedding Crusade. 40 in Classic Classic. Right? So what I've been doing is grinding my way up in levels. Because it takes longer to level in um, the Classic versions of the game. And mining. Because when I sell some stuff to mine, I get 
a bunch of gold. Gold was much harder to earn in classic than it is in retail. <coughs> so I am slaving away. I forgot how solid the grind was in it. And as much as I love retail and I enjoy playing retail, you get um, you, you don't have the same feeling of reward I found at least that you get when you're playing classic. And I'm already like max level and I, it, it's fun to play the retail version of WoW. And the story is great for me. Like any, like I'm sure people have um, gameplay enjoyment from retail. This is why I'm leveling a Paladin Pro. And getting all this gold so that when Breath of the Lich King comes out, I can jump into the Lich King content straight away and get a head start. Because when I, and I'll have all this extra cash, and I would love for you to be able to jump onto the same server as me. And we can, you know, and we can just do different runs together and things like that while you're on. Okay. See that the fight path connect. It, good, it connected. Now I need to connect and in that quest in um, Thunder Bluff. So there's only one other flight path left. I've got to go to the Mulgore and go all the way up to Thunder Bluff. I'm going to be tanking in Wrath, by the way, guys, as well as in, in this version of the game as well too, in um, Burning Crusade. But I'm going to try and level up as quickly as possible. I think I need to focus more on levels. Mythic Plus is, v it can't be quite rewarding. I agree with you on that. But maybe it's just the guild I'm with in, in, um, in retail that's probably not making it as enjoyable. The guild I'm with now, absolute legends. Uh, and Table of OEGs are people who heavily focus on story, lore of the world rather than mechanics, and then when playing their own campaigns, scratch the whole lore entirely. Um, it's the same combination. I think it's the same reason that people have fan fiction. Maybe. Such a system as a nuance. And ah. So they'll read the whole lore for like Warhammer 40k or for um, the lore for um, the vampire uh, tabletop RPG that you've got. But instead of um, applying to their gameplay, they just pull away from it and just. It feels, yeah, I, I would just buy the rule book only then if that was the case. I wouldn't focus on lore so much. Because I know with the Warhammer series, when I used to play that, um, I used to get, um, I used to just get the rule book. And after I learned the rules, I would then go back and read the lore in my spare time between um, carving out models and painting them. When I had the time to do that. And to be fair, I did, probably didn't do a very good job painting them because... Um, as anyone in my family will tell you, <clears throat> um, my art is in music and in gameplay. It is definitely not in drawing um, or painting or any anything like that at all. Both my kids are phenomenal at that stuff, but myself, nah. No, no, see, uh, I, I struggle to draw a stick figure properly. Fig Big, how are you going? I hope you're having a great day, my guy. What's happening? All right, up this way. Is your monitor? No, my monitor is not. My monitor is a um, a 4K ultra wide. I'm fine. I'm having a wonderful evening, and I'm glad people are jumping on and joining me this evening. Uh, yeah, um, my monitor is ultra wide, but I have to adjust it on um on my streaming software. I bought the monitor well before I started streaming, and quite frankly, I'm, it's so good. But um, I might have to adjust everything later on. I might just get a bigger uh, 1920 by 1080 and pass the screen on to somebody in the family for streaming. You know what I mean? Thank you so much for the follow, Fig. I appreciate it, and I'm glad that you're joining me on this journey. All I've been doing so far is running. Um, I got a Zenkai boost through a dungeon. And when I say that, there is a fella in the guild <laughs> called Zenkai who boosted me through it. Um, 
Um, ah, Karenga! Welcome, man! I hope your day is... Well, actually, I'm glad. Thank you so much for following me. So then you know, Zenkai boosted me through that dungeon. <laughs> Alright, let's see. Um, 4K works great for streaming still. It's just the aspect ratio matters, so that's why you're having this. Yeah, that's exactly right, pro. That's exactly the issue that I'm having. And I'm still, I'm still having a great time. It's still coming through. Just read um, Moon's um, statement real quick. This is we're changing the rules of the world. Um, it's focused on the fun, fun mechanics. Um, but it's very hard to do anything with the rules. Ah, yeah. I gotcha. It takes away from the immersion of the game. Makes total sense. What the hell is Thunder Bluff? Where am I going? Oh my gosh. No, no, maybe it is up this way. You forget how massive the Mulgore is. And I think I find, and guys, can correct me if, my wrong, if I'm wrong, even though you're moving the same speed as a Torrent that you do as a Blood Elf, it just feels like you're moving slower because their motions are slower, even though they're taking deeper strides. Okay, yeah, it is up there. There is Thunder Bluff. <clears throat> Yeah, yeah, so I'm, I'm right in saying that, bro. But that's the, that's where we, we get to, right? Ah, uh, got it. We'll try to get level 63 tomorrow. New rogues, okay, good. Guys, question. If I'm leveling in the Burning Crusade Classic off stream, um, and I come back on that at a higher classic, um, a higher level, would that, would you be okay with that? I just don't want you guys to miss out on anything, that's all. I couldn't play classic. I could never have the patience to run across continents like this. Oh, mate. The patience. Yeah, I've got no patience for that either. Well, I used to have patience. Smash at level 70. Alright, I thought that might be the case. Better to get level 70 content out there than to just um, chill. There's no flying. Uh, no, there is flying. And there is flying as first introduced in the Burning Crusade. So you'll jump through and you'll get to level 70 and you'll um, you'll buy flying at level 70. You have to have the right gold for it. Um, and But you can only fly in, um, in the Outlands. And I think, and Fig, you might know this better than me because I haven't played Wrath in years. Um, they introduced flying across... Um, uh, Azeroth in, and um, as well you can get a flying license for everywhere um, in the area too is that right or was flying everywhere only introduced in Kata? Oh, law while playing heavily focused on it oh yeah making your own laws a bit we are you're an exceptional writer um, or you're yeah I get what you mean. Making up your own law in an existing law thing, it's like more fan fiction. Really. And you'd have to be pretty good at it to pull it off. Really, like really, really good at it to pull it off. Hang on. Um, there's an hammer and anvil somewhere here. I don't know what I'll do with that when I get back to Silver Moon. Um, first things first. I need to grab that flight path. Which should connect me back to Orgrimmar. And if it does, we're cheering. The next few things, sh the next few steps should be easy. Now, I need a ride. It does. Yes. Okay, good. Got all the flight parts I need. Now to hand in that quest. Um, I can't do that one. Where was it? Uh, I think it was Black Fathom of Villainy. Turn the head of Twilight Lord Kelris to... Mashana Rune Totem in Pun Thunder Bluff. And where is this Miss Rune Totem? She's at the Elder Rise. Okay. Let's go to the Elder Rise. Um, I think that's the way. I think that's the entry I to it there as well. If she gets that quest, I will level up. Second one can be applied to the development of Battle Royale games. <laughs> yep. I agree. Uh, well, we only do what we can. 
And I think it's important to note as well that, um, really, the, the, the way that we vote with um, video games is through money. I mean, okay, look at, look at World of the Warcraft Classic. It's a prime example. Um, as the games were getting released, more and more people were jumping on the private servers than they were enjoying the, um, the new releases of the game. They were happy with, you know, Run of the Lich King, Burning Crusade, and even um, well, Classic. And when um, Blizzard had seen um, that they were losing money on those servers and they kept shutting them down, and then it made more sense to reintroduce the game under their own platform rather than um, just constantly shutting down private servers. So if you want to um, make a statement, you just don't invest in those kinds of games. Look what happened to... Um, was it Star Wars Battlefront 2? That was released on um, on the Xbox and the PlayStation. Now let me see if that's got more armor. I might need an enchant for that later, but it's still better than what I got now. That dodge isn't as noticeable for me right now. What kind of phenomenon did you notice, Moon? What a real disappointment was. Yeah, CNC 4 was dreadful. Command and Conquer. Like, I played General Zero Hour. I played, um, actually every single one of the Red Alert games as well, too. If Silver is on tonight, he's watching right now, he'll tell you how great those games are. His soundtracks were brilliant, but Command & Conquer 4 was hard for me to get behind. Wait, Command & Conquer 4? Yeah, 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 yeah. That's right, it was. Okay, removing base building was painful. It was... Oh, hang on, I got something in the mail. You're not the mail. I think... I don't know if my item sold or not. I think it didn't sell. If the axe didn't sell, I'm just going to sell it by hand. Okay. Um, I need a mailbox. Where's the mailbox? The mailbox is down one more level. Okay. And down we go. Is it here? No. Sorry, one more level still. See, I've never played the Rainbow Six series. Um, were they a third-person shooter, first-person shooter, espionage, like the Metal Gear series? Oh, man, I really wish they had Metal Gear on computer on PC. Yeah, it expired. Gotta sell it. I gotta sell it. Uh, but I gotta hand in these quests. Like this isn't even Rainbow Six. Oh yeah. Oh, somebody died. Oh no, they fell. Okay, that's fine. I'm gonna fly back with Dissilus. Squad based tactical shooter. Right. Any ride. Take me to not Dissilus. Um, Dissilus. It was um there. Zoramgar Outpost. We've got to hand in those quests. Um, Essence of Akumai. Um, and I'll go back to Hillsbard. Hillsbrad. Keep calling it Hillsbrad, it's Hillsbrad. Why does. <coughs> <coughs> cops are not fun. Um. <clears throat> But even lacking compared to the old school uh, six. Ah, seen 50 BR streams, and only one of them was a streamer that was also actually a fan of the entire old franchise. Thought the Battle Royale game invented the entire universe, and as a result, streamed in the wrong category. Not even knowing that they were playing. Oh no, that's weird. Also, this I can feel your disappointment. I've got heaps of games that were like that that I couldn't get behind. These are old school games. You guys remember Fighting Force and then Fighting Force 2? Um, but to your point, Cold Moon, yeah, it's like... I don't know, man. Like, it, it feels weird. Like, did you have to... Yeah, the that Battle Royale game, I think it needed... It's not very... Yeah, it needs a bit more. A bit more to it. I agree. No sane fan. Yeah, you're, you're right. Like... 
if you get behind law um, and you're a real fan of it and you see something that goes against what you'd like you're not going to be interested in it and there'd be a lot of real fans of that franchise out there too i can't imagine what it'd be like if that happened the same thing happened to, to the warhammer series um as well i think it'd be going anyway. oh the battle royale game um, that cold moon is talking about is one based on uh, I can't remember the name of the tabletop he's talking about. Oh yeah, He'll, there we go. Masquerade Blood Hunt. Um, in R6 you could have up to four teams with go codes, flash brings and all that. Oh yeah, 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 this. Actually sounds pretty fun. I'm gonna look that up too. I keep telling you guys to give me game suggestions. I've got a, I'm gonna have a massive list for Variety Tuesdays on my stream. <laughs> I think. Now, you see, if you're playing it just for the gameplay, I can understand that. But if you're trying to get behind the lore, like like Cold Moon said, it feels a bit, it feels off. Oh. That's right. And it's there. There's a massive tabletop lore behind it too, which people could get behind. I think one day I might consider um, a tabletop day. At some point, if I can find a way to, to get that organized and stream it and things like that. Kind of, yeah. <laughs> it's, it's like when I'm playing Guild Wars 2 and they keep saying Jotun instead of Jotun. And it's so hard to listen to. And they put me off the game. I know it's fun, Moon, but it's been bugging me so much that couldn't do it consider um, satisfactory building satisfactory what you, is a there's a game called satisfactory and you're building a factory yeah that's right it was so jarring like I was really getting behind the Guild Wars 2 I was jumping on with you guys we were playing we we're having the time of our lives and then the second okay so I did one of these one of the lead characters was, because it's a, it's, for those of you that don't know, Guild Wars 2 has got voice acting in the game when you're handing in quests and things like that. One of the characters, um, so Jotun, we all know, is from, or oh, many of you may know, um, Nordic Scandinavian lore, um, old Germanic lore, where um, ice giants, or giants in general, just giants, right? Um, <clears throat> and, yeah, hearing them say Jotun instead of Jotun, was hard because it was spelt the same and that's where the law was coming from and it was it put me off it I couldn't enjoy it you get what I mean all right I'll hand this quest in here yeah. among the ruins I need to get the fathom for one I missed it Jotun yeah that's what it was like all right I'll get that silver okay good oh hang on I need this I'm gonna put this in hit Guys, if you're watching me, I am fully aware that I don't have any hit items on me right now. I am adding hit rating onto my talent tree because I know I will forget to add it when I get items with hit. And you need hit rating 100% to get to a certain level. You want to hit that soft hit cap at 9% um, when tanking as a melee character. The last thing you want to do is be missing things and not getting the aggro that you desperately need and deserve. Um, now, these quests, anything else marked as complete? Or should I just half back to Taran Mill and then fly to Undercity? Yeah, you know what, it's going to be quick if I did that. That's what I'm going to do. I'm still pantsless! Do you think if... Oh wait, if... Okay. Please have pants on. You're going to be in a much colder part of the world. You still don't have pants on. That's upsetting. Um, <laughs> that's not where I was expecting this to go. Okay. Uh, no, 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 that's wrong. Here we go. So for the record, guys, this entire stream, all I've been doing is running around. <laughs> I gained a level. Um, and I got my quest sanded in. Show me where I can fly. I want to fly to Undercity. Then I've got to go back to um, my paladin trainer and in that quest 
do some sort of ritual, get a weapon that I think I would like to use while I'm leveling. Um, which could probably be better if I'm killing enemies and things like that, but I'm still going to spec and prot. And then when I get Avengers Shield, I might swap it. Oh, actually, what do I want to do? Because that weapon does look sick, but I don't think I have a use for it as a, as a, as a, a protodon. Okay. It's just amazing how I had to hearth and, and fly. I'll fly back to Taran Mill. Then I'll see if I can do those quests better now. Now that I've got a higher level. Oh man. It's been a day, guys. I can say cheers. Okay. Mm. This, I'm still really happy with this choice of playlist tonight, man. I dig it. Um, did I miss, miss anything? People are probably doing a raid or a dungeon right now, and they're on their chats, which is Q. Must be. Oh, wow. What's going on? What did I miss? No, I want to get involved. I don't understand English even after I asked. Uh, okay. Oh, I got it. Wanted to spill. <laughs> oh. Okay, now I get it. I know what's going on now. Charge me six gold for a port. What? <laughs> oh. <laughs> Uh, gosh. Okay, I'm gonna go here. Yes, I landed. Um, and I need to go up. Okay. To get to Silver Moon City. There's some things I missed in this game. I, I, I just didn't remember was a thing. No, what this? Yeah. Actually, I'm gonna be really happy to tank as a tank as a paladin. I used to. I I don't know if you guys are aware. If you're watching me now for the first time, some of you would have heard this a million times before. I used to tank in Wrath as a Death Knight, as Unholy, <clears throat> when you could still tank as um any spec. I'm just hoping that. I'm just wondering if they're gonna um. Adjust the talent tree so that you'll fall pigeonholed into blood as tank and the other two as DPS or not. Because I I like the idea of either being tank or DPS as a death knight and choosing your um your own path to tank with. It's really made the death knight stand out and made it more unique as a hero class, you know? Like if they kept it that way, I think we'd have more death knights in retail. What do you guys reckon? I mean, I still like using a Death Knight in retail. That's my main in retail. But it'd be nice to be able to just say, I'm expecting Unholy. Uh, I can tank in Unholy. Or I can tank in Blood. Or I can tank in Frost. And the feel would be very um, different. Oh, you did, I don't know if you remember it, Pro. Wrath of the Lich King, when it first came out, and I was there on launch, when you created your own Death Knight for the first time, Oh, my, my retail is uh, max level at the moment. Uh, level 60, I think. But I've had it in there for ages like that. Um, I'll probably drop the information for you, Talon, um, after this stream uh, in the in the guild Discord. So you know what I'm talking about. Um, but yeah, like so what would happen is you could be... Oh, this item level isn't that great. I only just got to a point where I can... Raid, um, Raid Finder now. Oh god, I'm in the wrong spot! Concentrate, Wombat! Um, to Raid Nath, Natharium. Oh god, I can't even pronounce it tonight. It has been a day. Um, and I've only just gone back into the story, so I'm doing the, um, the Chains storyline now, too. Um, but after, yeah, so I'm not really fo as focused on Intellin as I would like to be on on this version of the game because I need to get him up to level 70 as fast as possible 
so that we can actually do raids and dungeons and stuff together when Wrath of the Lich King comes out, Talon. And that's a that's a big goal for me right now. So item level, I'll have to I'll, I'll when I in stream, I'll give you his details, Talon. And I'll show you what I mean. It's here. Watch the, all that energy running up to the damn Zeppelin to go back to Orgrimmar after I'd earthed. That would have been dumb. Very bloody dumb. Okay, here is the Orb of Translocation. We're definitely without having a previous character, unlike Retail. Exactly right. That is true. That's why I'm a little con confused as to what they're going to do with the Death Knight. If they're going to do them like individual specs. Yeah. See, that's the point. So when you played um, WoW in Kata, Blood was Tank, Unholy, and Frost were DPS. When Wrath first came out, it was just, um, you can spec individual points at whatever tree you want. Some points give you DPS, some points give you tanking stuff. So people would mix and match to get a build that they would like. So I could have been, a, I was an unholy um, tank when I was playing Wrath, and I was doing really well. And in Kata, that's when they adjusted it, and it was, it, I, I played it for a bit, and then I had to turn it off. It was upsetting because of the work and effort that I put into it. Like, a lot of the um, slaps in the face um, I got turned me off and put me back in and all that kind of stuff, right? So, a big slap in the face for me was towards the end of Wrath of the of um, Cataclysm. Um, when a patch was released, it meant that the mount quest for my Warlock at the time... Uh, was meaningless and I'd spent months trying to get the materials for it because I was in, in high school and, and uni still I wasn't um, pushing high school and uni I didn't have enough time to play to to get it to level up did you not have specs in Wrath? we did when you know, I felt Manning a Priest yeah Manning a Priest was terrible so specs in Wrath of the Lich King this is how they look like as they do in, in um, Burning Crusade and um, Classic so your talent tree was here Every level you get after level 10, you add a point to improve a certain stat or to get yourself a new spell, depending on um, what talent point you get. So you wanted to be a, um, a tank, you would always spec in protection. You wanted to be um, in holy, you uh, in healing, you always spec in holy, and damage is retribution for the paladin. Uh, same thing in wrath. But the only class that you could pick and choose DPS or tank in any of those trees was the Death Knight. So you could be a dual wielding unholy tank, is what you could have been as well. And you did wonders. Um, and Dissilus, yeah man, I had a mate who made a priest and he stuck to it. He's still playing that very same priest to this day. Our enemies but the fall. nerfs... <laughs> <coughs> Sorry, the nurse were getting ridiculous. <sighs> okay. Got all the parts. Time to forge the weapon. Here we go. Sorry, I just need to rinse down this cough with something that's quite acidic. Let's just say it's alcohol flavoured grape juice. <laughs> now claim the weapon benefiting you. Okay, so take the crater materials to Berman and Silver City. We will have justice. Oh, he's just out here. <clears throat> okay. Is this the way? Yes, it is. Okay. Oh, yeah, that's right. Archers are always training in that weird spot. I still think Silver Moon is a gorgeous, underrated city. Forging a weapon. Here we go. Get started. <coughs> Wait while he creates this. Oh, I need to buy the right to use a pole arm. Okay. You know what? You do that. I'll just do this. You keep making the weapon and I'll smelt away. They can't be sacrifices made while you order a lot from them. 
Then they press the play for the power they wield in their defense. What? This revulsion is what Drone is doing in every drone. What? Who is this? Who's this face listed in revulsion? Oh, okay. Yeah, it's done. Wait, what did he say? Hang on. Oh, yeah, I get it because it's very damn disgusting. Inspects different ways to play the class. Right. Um, Talon is correct. You can, but you only have a finite amount of talent points to pick from what you want and what you need. So you can. You have the ability to build evenly across all three trees, but you'll rob yourself of the um, ultimate spell in each of those trees. Take the Warlock, for example. Demonology spec Warlock, when you get to max level, you have the option of summoning an additional pet that you wouldn't already initially have. Right now, the the pet's already there, it's part of the, the base of the Demonology spell. But back in the day, um, if you wanted to get a Felguard, um, or a Dreadguard, I can't remember what it's called, Felguard, you would need to expect fully in Demonology and have a couple of things in certain points on the tree. So, to put it into perspective or to make it clearer for you, which is what you'll experience in Wrath of the Lich King when it comes out, See that in red writing over there requires 40 points of retribution. 40 points will not fill all of this, right? You can fill parts of it and still get the 40 points to get yourself Crusader Strike and Retribution. Which gives you the right to be go, okay, well now I've spent enough to get that one spell that I need for my class, for how I want to play. Now I can put points in other places. You are going to get people putting up guides for the best spec, for the best roll. But realistically speaking, while it does give you a bit of an edge, as long as you're playing in a way that's fun and that you enjoy, I don't know very many people that notice. The way I spec as a as a warlock, I was doing massive DPS, but it go to it went against everything um, that a lot of these forums have put across. It just goes to how you play and how you um, spec. Does that make sense? Like it gives an added, added level of creativity. Um, Stay the so let's say for example, like I think I've leveled up anyway, and I, I went there and I clicked on that, now I've got more armor. Pick a spec, if you can mix and match between talent trees. Yeah, yeah, that was the point. You weren't picking a spec, but you were committing to a talent tree. That's what they were calling. So, he's like, if Wrath lets you put points in any tree, then what extra does picking a specific talent do? Okay, that's a good point. So, for the Death Knight, it was very flexible and very fluid. You can do what you wanted, spec to what you wanted. You didn't necessarily need the last spell in that talent tree to move on. So, I'm committing to protection because I want to be a tank. Because protection benefits me in the way that I get more armor, which makes it harder for me to get hurt, which saves the healer's mana in healing me. Okay? Whereas, if I want to do damage, I'd spend more on Retribution. I have less worry or concern about armor. I'm more concerned about giving the most output with the least loss of health and mana. So that if, if I... <clears throat> do you get what I mean? Like I end up being more useful as a DPS that way. That's basic stuff, bro. I know you know all that already. Um, same thing with holy. It's going to be more um, holy spell power and mana um, saving. So you'd be specking in that way. It means though that as well that sometimes spells and protection, for example, uh, there we go, City of Heroes, you can pick an unkillable tank in the hands, there's a no tanking and they'll be useless to the team. Player skill and knowledge goes are huge. And said so far, but um, are there even specs in Cata? There are specs in Cataclysm, but the skill tree that you're used to now was the one that was introduced in Cataclysm. So that's the one that was introduced then. So the, the, the um, talent tree that I have here um, went away when Cataclysm was released. Before Cataclysm, it was just this. Yeah, that's what you've um, committed to. Why did I run away? Wait, that's it. That's quest train done. Didn't get any more quests. No other quests here. Good. Now while I'm here, I can get a new spell. You also have to buy spells. I don't know if they've done away with that in Wrath of the Lich King. To the 
I was confused. So there's no spec um, choice you have to pick. That's right. Hey, Grumpy. How you going, my guy? Mm. Always a pleasure to have my fellow guildies and my um, followers watching me tonight. And as you want to change talents, it gets more and more expensive each time. Yeah. No spec choice you have to pick. No, you don't. You're not forced into it. You're just committing to a talent tree. And I can still, if I'm speaking in Retribution, I can still technically tank as a Paladin, but I'd be very shit at it because I don't have the right points for armor boosting. Make sense? What have we got? Blessing of Wisdom rank 2. God, Lord, Lord, Lord knows I need that. Um, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Farewell. Before I forget, I'm going to do them one at a time. Blessing of Wisdom, where are you? What is Blessing of Wisdom? Blessing of Wisdom? Oh, yeah, rank 2. Swap it out. Okay, now. Um, new spell. Because I don't know I'll forget. This will be annoying while you're doing it. Redemption rank 2. Okay, then that's definitely in um, Holy. Um, spell book out. Will have justice. Redemption rank 2, so I can bring people back from the dead. <clears throat> Counter talents were um, the dark times will pass. easier to, to understand and easier to maneuver around. You need a lot of patience for wrath talents. But for you, pro, when wrath comes out, just give me one second. What I suggest you do is look up on um, um, forums and build forums and see what were the best specs for the class you want to play um, and how or what best talents to pick as you're going through to make it easier for you to understand how it works. And then when you get your head around it and you get a hang of how it works, you can always adjust them from there. Yeah, two thirds of my points will be my main. That's exactly right. I'm not going to stick around in prot the whole time, but once I get to where I want to be in prot. I need to know that, uh, I need to figure out what I want to do if I want to spec in Ret or in um, Holy. I'm thinking a little bit in Holy will help me um, keep myself alive. But with, then again, with Retribution, I can mow down enemies like that. That's going to be a challenge for me when I get to the higher levels. Turn on dead. Target and undead enemy will be compelled to flee for 10 seconds. The damage caused may interrupt the effect. I don't want to run unless I need to control the crowd. So that that is handy. The Reckon. Turn on dead as a retribution talent. I'll put it up here for now And then I'll drop it down in case I need to later on because I just want to focus on what I have here Anaria Shola. I would like to go further nice new blessing of protection and Hammer of justice rank 2 Still four seconds. That's three seconds, four seconds. Okay, so an extra second. That's good Blessing of protection and hammer of justice Go bring him up Um, Protection uh, where are we? Hammer of Justice, swap out. And where's Blessing of Protection? Where are we? Hey, that's still there. Spiritual Attunement. Yeah, yeah, that's it. Blessing of Protection, rank 2. Okay, that's a um, bigger shield. Okay, good. So these cells. Pursuit of Justice. <coughs> you see the justice sounds like a retribution talent let's have a look blessing benediction where is pursuit of justice ah there it is chance you'll be hit by spells but one percent increases movement and mounted yeah see perfect retribution it is as my secondary talent uh that's what i'll be doing from there okay now that i've gotten everything Guys, I really have no use for this absolutely gorgeous, gorgeous pole arm. I think I might have to sell it because it's not going to matter to me later on anyway. And I'm expecting protection in case somebody wants me to tank in the lower levels than all you guys are taking. Um, at least I'm able to uh, buffet the damage for everybody. Hang on, you're the blacksmithing trainer. Yeah, there are. I've got one now. They're. You're gonna love this. 
there never used to be a quest tracker so you had to get um add-on called questy or quest finder or whatever it was out of the time the other add-ons you'd be getting are like you know um titan bar i think it was called where it had all your information at the top you had all kinds of um things as well too omen was another one especially used for tanks i wonder if omen is in this i don't think i need it to be honest um who's gonna buy my stuff oh it's this way the mining trainer yeah definitely because um in cat i think it was in reference cataclysm or in mr pandaria you could actually adjust which weapons and items and stuff go to which bag so it makes selling stuff easier so you don't sell the wrong That's stuff do this hang on oh i almost sold this sword okay um don't need these pants anymore the fish could probably stay for now get rid of the eye need to keep that for a quest maybe the shield can go so can the axe watermelon juice can come back here uh, i'll keep that just in case get rid of this pearl this fish meat everything on one big bag with a sword button <coughs> for me um i don't have the bag out on for this specific reason um when i i don't know if i need it anymore i'll have all my weapons come through in one bag so if i pick up a weapon i'll know it's kind of that bag um all basic stuff that i don't use all trash goes into the main bag because i'm putting all everything else in separate bags so in one bag i've got consumables in another bag i've got um not just consumables um crafting materials and things like that so when i hit the um the little brush button that would appear here um it puts everything to where it needs to go a big can of watermelon juice right now all i have is oh man Watermelon juice is neat. It's also daytime for you. Is it getting hotter where you are? It's, um, leggy boy, it looks good. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Right back, right back, right back, right back, right back. No, these are terrible. Okay. Um, Two-handed weapon, as good as it is. Now this can go. Wool cloth. Hang on. Ah, uh, the belt can go. The mace can go. I've got no use for it. Get rid of the clam meat. Hmm. Nah, it's gonna be insect, not stamina. I need stamina. Nobody buys it in cloth off me anymore. The wool can stay, that can go. Silk cloth, hang on to. In case people want to buy it for their club, club, blah, stuff. <coughs> get rid of these. They're not really worth their weight in gold. Can't sell that. Um. Yep, that can go, this can go, this can go. Alright, keep them as they are for now. I'm not going to sell my gold bars just yet. Because <coughs> I'm going to go back to Taran Mill. And do a couple more quests. Because if I can get that happening. I pick up some more tin. Then I'll be able to smelt some more stuff and sell. To make more of that sweet, sweet gold. Be about 23 degrees in Celsius. Hey, thanks for the conversion. I guess you know your streamer well. I still would have tried to calculate it in Fahrenheit though, but I would have been way off. <laughs> I'm sure it would have been way off. It's about that here now in um, in Sydney as well, about 23, 24 degrees, but the nights get cold. Nights get to about six degrees. I wish I could say the same for the for for the specific room I'm in now. The amount of heat my computer is pushing out, I am cooking. Yeah, 75 Fahrenheit, you know what I would have said? I would have said, oh, so it's about 30 degrees. <laughs> like an idiot. <laughs> I knew what I was talking about. <laughs> Math is for work, not for home. <laughs> Math can stay in the office. You're it, eh, Silver? Welcome to the party, my man. Um... Yeah, you're in, you're in, and if I remember correctly, you're in Queensland. Yeah, 30 degrees is the staple. Man, I want to go on holiday. Um, I'm planning on going on holiday somewhere in summer, but I don't know when. I've got to figure it out. Brizzy. Be more, yeah, yeah, that's right, sorry. Got to get busy, get more precise. But yeah, when I was there a few years ago, when I proposed to my wife, um, 
Yeah, that was the that was the going temp. Actually, it was closer to forty degrees, but raining consistently in um the South Bank or South Shore. I can't remember the name of it. South something in near the Gold Coast, near, or is it the Sunshine Coast? Anyway, it would rain regularly. You live in one of the top holiday destinations in the world. Oh, which one of us? Me or Silver? <laughs> Victory lies ahead. Um. Reminding Ghostlands. I stuffed up. Mm. Yeah, okay, yeah. Silver and I grew up in um, in New South Wales in Sydney. Um, for us as locals, it's very meh to us. I get really happy when someone from overseas comes and I like to show them all the spots and things like that. And that's the problem. Like, I'd love to go back to America, um, to California, but everyone's like, comes back to me like, ew, don't go to Cali. Or New York, like, no, don't go to New York. Um, you know what I mean? But, like, they love it. Like, I love it, sorry, I enjoyed it. But they don't. You're local. You, you, you know what it's like. <laughs> Well, yeah, that's what it's like for me. Overseas come here, there's nothing to show them. Whereabouts do you, if you don't mind me asking, I don't need to know the city, suburb, etc., just the country. Whereabouts are you living in, bro? Because I'm sure there's something in South England. Oh, yeah. Ah, I'd like you. I know what you mean, but <clears throat> yeah, but isn't South England? South England. I can't remember. I like the outdoors when I weighed thirty kilograms less than I weigh now. I feel there's something in South England, surely. And don't don't. I've had a mate who said to me, "Yeah, come to come to England. You'll get some of the finest cuisine in the world." And he'll take you to all these Indian restaurants. Amazon beaches, good weather, amazing beaches, good weather, good architecture. Yeah, there it is. <sighs> wrong spot. Need to go back. Taran Mill is in the it's in the wrong kingdom, mate. No, hang on. I've got to go to Undercity to fly to Taran Mill. <coughs> what a great history. Well, I guess it depends on which part of colonialism you belong to. If the history was great or not, <laughs> but, um, but your history is amazing. It's broad. It's wide. But I would like to go to London at least once. Wait, South London. But the rest of the country. <laughs> yeah, London. Yeah, but um, you're talking about the rest of the country. I've got to be clear with you, pro. When I say I live in Sydney. You have to understand that Sydney, the C Sydney city itself, is larger than, um, I'm going to say Jordan. Especially World War II, they have an amazing air museum. Oh yes, that's true. But yeah, like, so Sydney as a city itself is massive, right? Um, if you're thinking about the CBD, I do not live there. No one has that kind of money to rent, and if they do, they're embezzling. Um, but, like, so I live in the suburbs, so I live in what you would consider South England, really. Like, I'm just taking you to the shop. Yeah. Hours to circumnavigate Sydney. That's just the CBD on foot. Um, but if you were to circumnavigate the full, um, all of Sydney by car, yeah, you'll get PTSD. <laughs> yeah, Opera House Sydney, yeah, you're thinking of that. Sydney is uh, a large city with a massive number of suburbs, municipalities, um, and councils. There's heaps. Like when, like, but just be, but our population compared to the rest of the world is quite small. But well, Sydney itself is huge. Hundred percent. Navigating through Sydney CBD. Uh, if you have an SUV. Um, you are praying for the sweet release of death because <laughs> the amount of stress you go through. But Grumpy, I don't want to be the guy that says oh, I can do you better because that's not who I am as a person. 
but I think you should be aware I've been to New York <laughs> and <coughs> New York driving um, is one of those uh, moments where you're on the road you're trying to to turn left and right and you're praying to God and you can hear the person behind you screaming God can't help you now as you're trying to fight for your life not to have your whole body taken out cab drivers would force you to get out on a specific side of the road because they were terrified that if you opened it up where traffic was coming you would lose your door so New York driving Navigating through it, horrible. So driving and traffic and things like that, and navigating Sydney and how big it is. Um, no, no, CBD is Central Business District, where everybody thinks the CBD is. <laughs> public transport in New York, or public transport in New York. <laughs> exactly. I used to small cars, asked me to drive his Hilux through Sydney once. No! The Hilux at the turning circle of a bus! I love those cars though. I love your know, Hiluxes, D Max, those big utes. But man, I hated driving. When I had a D Max, I hated driving that through Sydney. All I wanted to do was. Yeah, I just wanted to drive through all the traffic. A Captiva, also known as Craptiva. Oh yeah. But you see, you'd have an easier time driving the second half of getting the CBD than any of us would have. No, nope, not designed for city roads. Definitely not. That's why I'm comfortable living in um, in the outskirts of Sydney. To put it into perspective, Dissilus, from where I live in Sydney to get to the Opera House, it would be by public transport, assuming that it's um, not on time. Two hours on time, about one and a half hours. Driving in traffic will take me one and a half to two hours anyway. So really, it's, it's a bit of a trek. And even then, I'm in like the... Um, I'm not even in the outskirts of Sydney yet. I've still got a couple more um, councils to run through before I hit the country. No running or walking. Are you kidding me? <laughs> right now? I already told Cold Moon off for this. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I've been using blessing. Only walk. Hang on. No running. Only walking. Oh, I misread that. Okay. Whoop, whoop, whoop. There we go. Having a leisurely stroll. Let's get me back to Taran Mill. Oh boy, walk everywhere. <laughs> oh no. In the right spot though. Ah, I finished. Isn't walking. <laughs> Said no running. Didn't say anything about flying a bat. When it lands, I'm going to be stuck on walking anyway. And I'll be walking towards the end of the stream. So I'm going to be walking to each enemies. Oh, this! No! <laughs> I'm getting into trouble a lot! <laughs> I'm gonna be so cooked after this. Oh, jeez, look at that. Not only is the computer hot and getting the wine sweats now. This is gross. This is really not right. <laughs> okay. Once I get there... And then I'm just gonna be walking around. My quest. So what's the next one I have to do? I'm gonna have to probably just focus on um, Hill, Hills, Brad Foothills. Just gonna stop tracking. <laughs> yeah, I don't care. I <laughs> Zircon. Zircon's brilliant. Good tracks. You can thank this for tonight's playlist, by the way. Claim this channel points to pick the playlist that I have on the selection that I've got. I do plan on expanding that playlist. Um, if things change up for me, um, then I'll adjust it and have a whole, like, massive list for you all to choose from. But for now, if you look at the channel points, you can see what um, playlist you can choose from. Want to buy a retro synthwave. Do you have 5,000 channel points? And can you select it? Hang on. I've only got regular synthwave. 12.3k. <laughs> If you can claim it, all right. Well, then you know, use the channel points. Um, I've got a wow stream with just game music because that's one thing you can't complain about in Wow. That's true. It's very true. There'll have to be a day when I'm not promoting pretzel. Which, by the way, guys, 
so far the music hasn't really failed me except maybe one or two instances but the rest is just like it, it works it works for what I'm doing and it works for what we're seeing here guys okay that's right I'm still walking hey I got a new quest or is that quest level 28 elixir of agony hey, this is the way would want to hijack this stream do it that's the whole point of the channel points <laughs> put them in <laughs> Although we've got four minutes to go. Actually, you know what? Silver, don't use your channel points yet. Save them. Because I'm streaming again tomorrow night. And then we can add this. If you want the synth wave and you're on, pick it. You're saving your channel points for a house deposit. <laughs> I like it. All right. Oh, bit of hydrate. Cheers, guys. Um, oh, God. Stretch. Ugh. I don't know if you heard my shoulder cracking, guys. Oh, my goodness. Okay, here it is. <sighs> Friggin' pro. This was evil. I've never, take, it's never taken me that long. I'm not in line, glad. That's what I need next. Elixir of agony. Oh, God. It's gonna be a pain. Uh, yes, bank, you take ball prints, they go. <laughs> Gold ball prints. Oh, uh, but yeah, the, the Blood Elf starting area music is really lovely. It's really nice. Okay, what do I need to do? I need to kill mountain lions for their blood. Alright. <laughs> what a lovely day for the stir. Pip, pip, chidio, what not? I'm preparing myself to fight mountain lions in my underpants. Oh my guys, glitch happened. Now it looks like I'm not wearing any pants. Um, so, I don't know what to tell you all. Okay. Mountain lion could be around here. So these bags pinpoint where the mountain lions would be. Yeah, <laughs> no pants? Why do they exist? I don't know. <laughs> but honestly, oh come on Dis, you saw me. I put on those pants and they just changed. It just, I kept swapping them out. Excuse me, and they just weren't working. <laughs> what a, well, you know, video games only appeal to the main audience. Yes, right, hmm, of course. This is definitely... Like, no, it's, this is not, <laughs> this is not right. <laughs> This is far from perfect. This is far from ideal. Okay. Let's see if I can find it. I don't know either. I mean, look. The guy's ass is concaved. Okay, is there a mountain lion near here at all? <laughs> like, why has he got no pants on? Why does it look like I'm staring into two blank canvases? <laughs> you found some Daisy Dukes and remember, you got it flaunted. That's right. These Dukes are made for walking. Oh, imagine if I get jumped by an alliance here. That's gonna. They're gonna wonder why I'm walking towards it. They're gonna have. It's gonna look insane to people. There's less polygons than OG. <laughs> Far less polygons. Oh dear. <laughs> that makes a lot of sense. Alright, did this work? Yeah, that's right, I said I wasn't going to use Blessing of... Actually, I said that before. It's been more than five minutes now. Okay, here we go. Because there's a new ban. Alright, Mountain Blind Blood. Got Mountain Blind. Mountain Blind God. Blood. <sighs> mountain Lion Blood. <laughs> okay. You there. But a few more minutes to go. And this walking to each bloody lion <laughs> is proving to be more taxing than I'd care to admit. Alright. Come on. He's just a stereotypical pretty boy. I see. They're your, um, they're your valley, your, they're your valley boy. No, okay, so that lion didn't give me what I needed. But yeah, since I got all those armor boosts and upgrades, the back. All right, 
All right, come here. That was uh, cricket worthy, guys. I'm sorry, I don't know why I got into it like that. <laughs> oh dear. Oh, here we go. Wrong one, damn it. Here we get up. I have a boost sound effect. Um, boo? Let's have a look. I don't. Probably the closest thing I have is this. But that's more if you really enjoy the company of the people around you, if you catch my drift. Um, but if you want, like, what, a loud effect or something? I don't know. We do have... I do have um, a crippling, like, a, a terrifying heartbeat sound effect. I don't know if you can hear that right now. Like you're a bit nervous about what's about to happen. Um, shall wings? Yep. My favorite is when I combine the two. But this is really exciting, guys. I can't wait for it. Like, oh, I'm about to jump in the one, I'm about to get wet. And then, yeah, that joke was worth it, guys. That was worthy. So I, <laughs> I can give myself a round of applause. Just keep that heartbeat on constantly, dude. Oh my god. And then in Deep Rock, when um, that thing starts playing the distressed dwarf noises over the radio while that heartbeat is playing, nah, man, that's that's anxiety inducing. <laughs> that, that, thing. that mission was a nut. Yeah, it was so creepy. All right, 10 minutes, the five minutes is up. I'm back to running. I'm gonna go back to town anyway. I started what I wanted to start. And I got what I needed to get, which means I'm at a point now where I can just start leveling a little bit more. We won't have to worry about long-winded um, class quests that really take me away from it. I don't think I'll need to worry about anything class related until I get to level 30 where I can get my mount. Um, I can buy it from the vendor and I can start at the um, lower speed mount at level 30. And then work my way up towards it. Um, okay, where are we going? It's over here. Ah, here we go. What I'm going to do is just jump into the inn because I want to get double a boosted experience. So when I come back on tomorrow night, I've got to adjust my stream speed so you can actually see that I'm on tomorrow night. We can work our way from there. Okay, here we go. Is this the innkeeper? No, it's not. Where's the inn? No, you're the out. The inn must be here. To really do a hot dub city of hero stream where the character's just sitting in a game pool of water. <laughs> In the end game, <laughs> looks like a bathing suit. But, um, you can get some really interesting cool gear uh, in the below 60 areas and everything later just becomes like stat sponges. Yeah, it, it does get to me a little bit. Um, which is why I think that the... Uh, I'd prefer the edgier um, Wrath of the Lich King gear than the Burning Crusade gear. But some of the Burning Crusade gear does actually look really nice when you get to um, like level 70 and you're just running through those dungeons. Alright. I think, um, well, that's going to be it for me now, guys. I have hit the end. It is late for me here in Sydney. I've got you would know that as well, too, but I actually have to work early in the morning. <laughs> but I will be back tomorrow night with some more Burning Crusade fun and shenanigans. I'll actually be focused on leveling as well, too. Um, I'll be more open to a whole bunch more things that you tell me to ban in game as well, too. You're working right now, Silver. Ah, oh, wish I had the capacity. Are you working from home or are you working in the office before you come back? You know what? Not important. A um, couple of things that are important though, um, is as we've discussed during this stream, I have a variety of different playlists and tracks that work well. Um, whether you're listening to them on your own or if you're um, streaming like myself and don't want to get those DCMA hits. The streaming service for music that I've got is called Pretzel or Pretzel Rocks. As you can see in the stream um, as well too. Uh, in the stream title. Also, get in my About Me section. There's a link there. If you want it, you want to subscribe, go for gold. It's really good. Um, if you're new to my channel, uh, I do have a streaming channel Discord. If you're in the guild and you want to talk about my streams, things like that, jump onto that and have a chat. Just remember to keep all guild chat in the um, in our guild Discord. Um, so, I'll just point, post the link to the channel now. Um, also, my VODs, at the moment, I'm pasting them on YouTube for the time being. Um, oh, hang on a second. If you do not buy Skyhook, I get paid tomorrow. I will look at it. 
and it'll be in the um, Variety Tuesdays playlist. Um, when it comes to YouTube VODs, I'm sorry, VODs are on YouTube instead of, um, they're also on Twitch, but they go after a while. All my past VODs appear on, um, well, as you can see in the text there, on YouTube from the 18th of Feb onwards, they will not go away. If you jump onto that and you subscribe to that as well too, you can see all my VODs past, present, and future, and you can call me out on bullcrap that I may have said in those past VODs. <laughs> anyway, guys, that's it for me. Thank you so much for joining me. Uh, must look weird looking in the opposite direction of the camera and all that stuff. Looking at the camera right now, guys. That is a full-time job. <laughs> I'm Iron Wombat, guys. This is Iron Wombat Gaming saying bye for now. I'll see you all tomorrow. You enjoy the rest of your day. Take care, guys, or evening. Be safe. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to follow and subscribe for more content. See you next time.